Hey everyone, it's Jason here and today's video I'm going to show you how to lock certain channels on the STB MU. Got a few guys asking me if there's a few ways of doing it. I did do a video on this on the Magbox and uh, some of you guys are asking if, I, if it works on the uh, STB MU and the answer is yes. And uh, today's video I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so let's open up the app. There's a few steps you got to do in order to lock certain channels if you want to keep the kids out of uh, those, those channels. Wait for it to load. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to any channel you want. I'm just going to go to English. Okay, so you need the, the guide up. So what from here, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the menu button on the remote control. Now we're going to go to settings. So we're going to go to configure key maps. Press OK. Now we're going to add one. So go to add key. Action not selected. Make sure that's highlighted. Press OK. And here we're going to go all the way down, okay, where it says keypads. Okay, so here's all the uh, keypad numbers. And the reason why we need this is because we have to set up a parent control password. So what I suggest is because, as you guys all know, the Fire Stick doesn't really have a lot of buns in it. So we're going to have to pick one of these buns and add the number to it so what i suggest is keep it as simple as possible so in my case what i'm going to do is i'm going to do four zeros i'm going to use the zero so i'm going to press ok so now once you get over here now you're going to press the button that you want the keypad zero to turn into uh, i'm just going to use uh, my rewind button on the remote control so you'll see it on the top there, media rewind code 89. So once that appears, now you're going to go down to save key. If you want to use this on anything else, what I do suggest is click on long key press, which I'm going to do so it doesn't interfere with my rewind function. Just keep in mind when you do want to hit the rewind, you cannot press and hold it long because it will turn into the zero button. So if you want to do short press, just make sure this is off. So if you're watching a movie or anything like that, if you're like me, you tend to hold it. So you're actually using it as a long press. So in your case, I will leave it unchecked. So it's a short press and I'm going to hit save and it will appear here. If you guys want to delete this button, all you have to do is go down, make sure it's highlighted. Now you're going to press and hold the OK button. You will get this option. So now you just head over to the side and hit remove key and it will remove the key you just did. OK, I'm not going to remove. I'm just going to hit cancel. But that's how you remove it. If you don't want to use zeros, you want to use something else. So now we're going to hit the return key on the remote, hit the return key one more time, and I'll take you to back to your TV guide. Because you made a change to the system, it's that's why it's showing a black screen, but don't worry about that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the menu button once more on the remote. Now we're going to head down to RC. Press OK. Now you're going to head down to APP. Press OK. Now you're going to get this option and this is where you're going to enter the um, the key that we just entered uh, that we just set up the the zeros so one two three four so mine's going to be four zeros then i press ok and now if you pay attention right next to 197 you do have the lock option right there so if i go up if I go back down, 
now I have the channels locked out. You have to enter the code. So once more, one, two, three, four, press OK. And there you go. Now the channel's working. Okay, guys. So let's say you don't want this channel locked anymore. You want it uh, to be free. Hit the menu. Now you're going to head down to back to RCC. Head back to APP. You're going to get this. And once again, you're going to enter our four digit code. One, two, three, four. Press OK. And now the lock option is gone. So now this channel will no longer be locked. And keep in mind, guys, you can only do this when you see the guide. If you have it on full screen, it, this will not work. All right. So if you guys have any other questions, give me a comment below. If there's a video you need me to make for you, just give me a comment below. Make sure you hit those thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And once again, thanks for watching.